Morrison's novel by the title of Beloved is all is about a former slave named Seth living in Cincinnati at a haunted home numbered 124. The hauntings that go on throughout this novel remind her of her troubled memories and trauma that she lived through to get herself and her children out of slavery. We see the ghost named Beloved haunt and torment Seth. Beloved befriends Denver, Seth's daughter, while also ruining Seth's life. She causes Seth to lose her job and ruins relationships between her and Paul D. throughout the novel. We see in flashbacks of what brought Beloved into the home at 124. It is eventually revealed that Beloved is the child that Seth had to kill when she was trying to escape slavery. Seth managed to escape slavery with her two children, but eventually her former slave, her former slave owner, school teacher found and tried to bring her back. When Seth realized that this was her faith, she did not want to put her children through this. In a great sacrifice, she decided to kill her children. She was only able to make it through one murder when school teacher found her. He decided that she was too crazy to bring back and Seth had to live with the sacrifice she made. She later buried her child with the tombstone beloved. This is who we believe the ghost in her current time to be. Some notable themes that I noticed throughout the novel were that of slavery, motherhood, and home. Seath and Paul D were both slaves who had been freed after the Civil War. However, they are still haunted by their past and the memories which continuously torment them throughout the novel recalling events of when they were dehumanized and treated like livestock to be overworked, beaten, and sold. Another theme that was noted throughout the novel is motherhood and the difficulties and trials that come with it, but also the extent of love that a mother has for her child. In Seath's case, her desperation to keep her child safe from slavery drove her to kill her baby so that it never has to grow up to experience the cruelty which slavery brings. Lastly, the novel also expands on the theme of home and how slaves, even after becoming free, have become homeless because they've been ripped away from their motherland. Despite such tribulations, Seath and those that live with her were able to make a home at 124, and despite the dysfunctionality and troubled past that Seath has, she still stays because she's worked hard to get where she's at. For symbolisms, Beloved was the name that was engraved in Seath's dead baby's tombstone, and also the name of the woman who suddenly appeared at Seath's house. Beloved represents the haunted past of Seath, but also the history of slavery. When Beloved describes one of her memories of being inside a dark, cramped place with people inside it, she references the middle passage where slaves had been shipped on to be sold. Beloved also represents Seath's guilt from when she had to kill her baby. On another note, the scar on Seath's back symbolizes the cruelty of slavery, and despite the scar being healed from time, the mark is permanent and serves as a constant reminder of the dark past. So the significance of Beloved doesn't just end at the time it was written or the time it, and it takes place. There's a lot of mirrors that you can see today. For example, the novel makes a point of showing the legacy and effects that slavery can have on not only individuals, but communities as well. And today, there's still ongoing conversations about the long-lasting effects of slavery and discrimination and how it's shaped social, economic, and political structures today. That's not even limited just to the black community and slavery. Many communities have had a history of being discriminated against and treated inhumanely that still have effects that you can just see around you. In addition to that is historical erasure. Beloved acts kind of as a warning to the dangers of historical erasure and what can happen when painful truths get ignored or forgotten. In the modern day, there's a lot of people who want to try to forget historical injustice and hate history as something not as bad as it actually was. But in opposition to this, there's many people who are taking large efforts to confront these historical injustices, including um, initiatives to commemorate and remember past these past atrocities. Another um, mirror is both freedom and inequality. One of the ideas explored in Beloved is the nature of freedom and the limitations it placed upon marginalized communities. And in the modern day, both freedom and inequality are very common topics when it comes to discussions about access to education, health care, and e economic opportunities, etc. And finally, we have identity. Many of the characters in the story grapple with their identities in the aftermath of slavery. And while Today, it might not be literal slavery. People today navigate questions about racial, gender, and cultural identity. And in doing so, they confront societal expectations and discrimination. Hello, my name is Andrew Santiana, and today I will be presenting my portion of the group project. 
What parallels can you draw to connect with today's society? The novel Beloved was published during the time that the separation between the black and white people was still going on. This is why the novel Beloved made a major difference on the way society looked at the African American society. To this day, we as a society still have different perspectives on one another, regardless of who we are. For instance, the novel Beloved was published in 1987 and involved the black and white community and their differences. And now in the present, we just had one of the most impactful movements, which was BLM, Black Lives Matter. As you may all know, aims to eliminate white domination. Although it's been 36 years since the novel has been published, the connections between the novel and present time is still an ongoing problem. 